like technology is already like an ever growing field there's something yeah. new coming up like every now and then so it's really really hard to keep yourself up to date with like the trends in technology because there's just so much it's it gets overwhelming at some point so and you 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 already do a lot of stuff i know how do you find the time to keep yourself up to date and and what are the i don't know the mechanisms that you use to like keep yourself up to date with the new trends in technology Sure, sure. So I use quite a few different small like micro techniques that okay. end up keeping me like my head like uh, focused on what's happening. So okay. you're right. So falling behind in, in engineering, is, it can be potentially dangerous because your skills might get outdated because you don't know exactly. what's happening. That actually yeah. happened to me when I was working early in my career. I had a really hard time getting out of a job because I only knew the work that I was doing. Mm -hmm. And so I went on dozens and dozens of interviews, got so many no's because they said, well, you're just not, you, you know, you're not have the skills that we need for right now. So ever since that day, here's what I do. So one, one big helper is this thing called a technology radar. Okay, mm -hmm. so there are a couple of companies that do this. ThoughtWorks does it. Another company called Red Monk, they have a technology radar. So I always read those because that'll tell you, you know, emerging technologies, like technology you should definitely be adopting, what you should pause on. And you don't, and you can make whatever decision that you want. You don't have to decide, but at least you get to know. Another exactly. thing is, so that's, so that's one thing. Another thing is Twitter. Um, I look at what people are talking about, whether or not I'm going to pursue it. It's different, but I just look at what people are talking about and I can get an idea like, oh, like people love the jam stack. I'm like, okay, well, I need to know more about the jam stack eventually. Or when I figured out that things like view were getting really popular, I was just noticing the trends online and say, okay, well, people love view. I wonder why they love it so much, right? Not so much as like, oh, they can't love view. They should love Angular. It's more like, oh, yeah. that's just another tool out there that people love. So I wonder why they love it. And then the final thing that I do is, um, I subscribe to some newsletters that mm -hmm. come out and I skim through the newsletter. And here's the difference. I wait to see what keeps repeating week after week. Mm -hmm. So if I see something continue to come up in the newsletter, then I'm like, okay, this is worth me at least doing a Google search on. Let me mm -hmm. find out what's happening.